Today I'm going to show you what I do to maintain uh, these bandsaws. Now, with bandsaw, it doesn't really matter what model it is or what size you have. The maintenance on them is pretty well the same. Uh, this one happens to be an old Delta. Well, it's not that old. But a great, great bandsaw. Now, in the last few years, well, quite a few years, the quality of bandsaws tools have really gone downhill. Uh, so if you ever have a chance to buy one of these, they're, they're awesome. Uh, nothing can really go wrong with them. You can keep these things going forever. You know, parts aren't available anymore for these, but, you know, the aftermarket boots are still available, and there's really nothing to go wrong. So let's tear it into this one, and I'll show you what I do to maintain it and uh, keep it running good. Now I don't know what it is about bandsaws, but every time I go into a situation where I have to fix one, they seem like they're always out. And yet I go into other schools, this is a school that I'm in right now, I go to other schools and I can go years with almost doing nothing to them. But I think what it is is people just don't know how to properly set things up. Something goes wrong, so they start monkeying around and they don't get it right. So typically, uh, if I get into a situation where it's a bandsaw that's never been maintained, best thing to do is just start fresh. Take and move all your guides out of the way and allow that uh, that blade to run free. So. First thing we're going to do, we're going to blow the dust out of here and then we're going to move our guides out of the way and our bearings out of the way so there's nothing impeding on our blade at all. blocks are in there pretty good. They just get a little pitch on them. Okay, now there's nothing repeating this blade. It's going exactly where it wants to go. Now, one of the big things that people miss is tracking your blade so that it runs in the middle of your boot. So I'm just going to uh, switch the camera around. I'm gonna show you. So this is the adjustment here. And basically all it does is moves your uh, your uh, drive wheel a little bit like this so this is your adjustment and uh, if you move it in your blade will go this way on the boot and if you move it out of course it goes the other way so I'll give her a quick turn there and we'll see what it does see it doesn't tap uh, now your blades way out here it's rubbing on the guard not healthy at all. So you want to make sure that that blade is running exactly in the middle. That looks pretty close. Now you can see on the boot here 
that you get a little bit of crud every once in a while and basically just really lightly with a scraper you don't want to wreck your boot but you can get some of those uh, cooties off with that You want to go real light on there, so you don't want to damage your boot. Let's do the bottom one here. All right, blow that off. Okay, now it's time to put in our guide blocks. Now, your guide blocks, I know that uh, uh, the phenolic ones were really popular at one time, but in a school situation, they wore out so fast that you just couldn't keep up with the maintenance. So, gone back to the steel ones, and it's made a huge, huge difference. A lot better. But they wear out too, but it takes quite a long, long time. Now on these smaller blades, it usually only wears out half of it. So all you have to do is spin the block around and then you've got another good side here so you're not always having to re-grind. So we're going to put the good side in. Make sure everything's tight. Sometimes these things are a little tight. You have to give them a little shot of the sander. Let's see what's going on with this one. Gonna to touch that with the sander. It's a little bit high right there. Something's grabbing. Now, let me just show you here. When you set these up, now your blocks need to be just behind the kerf of your uh, teeth there. So your teeth are want to go this way, want to go that way. You just need to be right behind there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. Adjust this. Especially critical on a narrower blade. Now, the whole rule is you're supposed to put a piece of paper in there. Just get it so that it's as close as you can get it. You don't really want your blade rubbing up against it. You just want it just as tight as you can get it without touching. Now we're not building a rocket here, so. That's pretty nice. Tighten those up. Perfect. Let's do the same to the bottom. Just trude these up on the sander and do the same with your phenolic ones if you have them. But make sure, if you're using the phenolic, make sure you're using a guide because it's really easy to get this out of 45 on there. On this particular one, it's 
the 45. Some are not at all. They're all nice and straight. Time to work on the bearings. Now this seems to be pretty universal amongst most um, balance saws. Now, just use my penetrating oil. You don't want to use any grease or anything like that. I'm gonna get working first. Making a bit of a mess, but that's all right. I've had bearings seized up, and you put a little penetrating oil in it. Basically, what it does is just gets the the grease that's inside the bearing working again. And uh, I've been keeping these bandsaws going for 30 years plus in some schools. Bottom bearing. Make sure you check your bearings periodically, especially if they're not being used, because they do start to tighten up on you. Okay, once again, we're going to. I'm going to set this bearing just so that it's just behind the blade. You don't want it too far back because then when your blade comes in, the curve of your teeth are going to hit your blocks. You want it just there so that when you do spin it, it's not going to spin the bearing. But when you put a little pressure on it, it's going to stop it. That looks perfect right there. Lock her into place. Now I remove, remove this guard right here so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. If you're wondering what, what's going on there. Okay, we'll adjust the bottom one. Sounds really good. Everything's locked into place. Put the guard back on. Just like every other tool, you got to make sure this thing's cut straight or it's kind of a useless tool. So we're going to see how straight we are. We'll snug her down a little bit. Well, this one. You can see we're slightly out. So we're going to loosen this off a little bit. Tweak her down. perfect right there. So on this particular uh, model there's a, a set bolt in there. I'm just going to tweak that up so the next time they move it when they drop it down it'll stay at 90. There now we've got our guide block set, bearings are set, it's uh, aligned on our, uh, on our roller or on our boot here. We're almost done. And then you just want to make sure you check for loose stuff, especially in you know, all these little pull downs. So 
Sometimes they come a little loose, but if you maintain them, they don't come loose. Make sure you got a good fit on here. Sometimes you got a little notch here, and sometimes there's a little uh, uh, king or little pin here that you pop up, goes into a groove. Make sure that that's good and level. There. Now we're going to just check the belt and make sure that uh, that's good, and then we're done with this one. We'll just pull this panel off of here. This looks pretty clean in here. Yeah, the belt is uh, pretty good. It's a long belt, so it's going to move a little bit. And uh, it's very snug. Always check your uh, pulley, too. Because sometimes if the pulley comes loose, man, you can get into some serious issues with that. So make sure that pulley's nice and tight. Everything seems to be good. All right, we'll put her back together. There, that wasn't so bad. I got my collar fixed. Must have popped up when I took my jacket off. I'm looking rough, I should be tuned up too. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you some of the differences in uh, some of the other bandsaws that we have here in the uh, lab. And uh, just give you a, a quick little blurb about what I do with them. This is our nice large delta that we have here. And it works really, really good as well. And Things are a little loose. You want to make sure they're nice and tight. I'm going to zoom in on what we have for guides on this one. You can see that they're basically these are two round bushings here that are two round guides that run on a bushing. It's not a bearing, but this is a bearing. So basically you just got to keep penetrating oil out. Your best friend. Your best friend. And same thing. All the rules apply. Front leading edge of that uh, of the guide needs to be just behind the kerf of the uh, of the uh, teeth back roller needs to be just behind the blade. Not touch it. I'll do the same to the bottom ones. Make sure we're uh, good on our... Uh... Yeah, looks good on the boot. And I'll do the same thing. Just go through it like I did the other one. All right, we got one more. This is our uh, Grizzly 17 inch bandsaw that we bought. And it's been a pretty good uh, bandsaw for us. Had a couple little issues, but pretty minor. Now, you can see that uh, the system that we have here, just zoom in. this particular uh, 
model we have two bearings to allow for a larger blade of course two bearings on this side two bearings this side and one at the back now to maintain that you just got to make sure that sometimes pitch builds up on the side of the bearings you want to make sure your outside of the bearings are clean and that your bearings are lubed up down below same thing so we're gonna I'll blow this out lube everything up and follow the rest of the uh, procedures and this one's maintained as well so it doesn't really matter what size of uh, bandsaw or what type of bandsaw you have the procedure to maintain them is pretty well universal so you're, you're only as good as your tools so make sure you keep them maintained and uh, it's not that tough so until next time